This is Jake. Jake is a college student living in rural America with hopes and dreams of working for a larger company someday. For Jake, however, this is difficult. His roommates are often noisy and chaotic, and his Wi-Fi connection is barely stable enough to stream videos, let alone participating in live video calls. Jake brings up his frustrations with a sympathetic classmate, who mentions that they've been in a similar situation. The classmate recommends Third Space, a new co-working space only a few minutes walk from the campus, with all the resources for work, collaboration, networking, as well as food and supplies. It's everything you can need as a student or a telecommuter, all in one place. One evening, totally distracted by the noise of his household, Jake gets on his bike and heads over to Third Space, which is located conveniently next to a bike lane that goes through town. Jake can see a warm light through the front windows, which are seasonally decorated and framed by beautiful shrubs. Despite it being around 5 p.m., the place is still very active and full of students and young professionals. As Jake makes his way into the foyer, he notices how spacious it is. An employee says hi and greets him. The building looks simultaneously rustic yet modern and is split into a common area for eating and talking as well as a private area for working on projects. Jake walks past the community events board, still taking in the sights, and brings his laptop to an area labeled private workspaces. Jake uses the kiosk to get a room key and swipes it over one of the cubicles to enter. Jake pulls out his laptop and works for about a good hour, realizing that he still has yet to eat anything for the night. He worries a bit about this because he doesn't want to have to leave the space, but then he remembers that food is being served in the same building. Jake decides to leave his cubicle, which automatically locks to prevent anyone from taking his stuff. He heads over to the food area of the building and buys himself a Danish and some coffee. On his way back, Jake realizes that he lost his earbuds. A large, airport-style vending machine saves the day, selling everything from pencils to earbuds to Third Space merchandise. He's really happy about this. After returning to his cubicle, Jake finishes listening to a pre-recorded lecture from one of his professors. Jake decides that it's about time for him to get going. He uses his card to sign out by swiping it over a special pad that's located in the hallway. A sign hangs over this pad, pointing everyone who leaves the facility to please sign out first. On his way out, he sees his friend Anthony hanging out in the commons part of the building, talking with a few other friends. Jake waves and goes to sit with them, ready to plan the rest of their night from the comfort of the building. Later on, while going through his wallet, Jake finds a card that the barista gave him when he purchased a coffee. Five hole punches and he gets a free coffee? Hmm... Jake reflects on his last visit. Maybe he should go back. 